cow. This will be nice and tasty. Woo! Hey! Wow! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Every time there is fishing on this show, it's always one of the boys. Andrew, Ernie, Tom, all they do is fish, fish, fish. Well, it's my turn now, but I've got to come clean. Can't actually fish, never have fish. But hey, if a novice like me is willing to give it a go, so can you. I'm at the Goulburn Valley Fly Fishing Centre near Thornton in Victoria, about a two and a half hour drive from Melbourne. That's right, I'm not just fishing, I'm fly fishing. The really tricky stuff. But look where I'm learning. Pretty gorgeous, hey? Now, fly fishermen don't actually use yucky real flies. They use pretend ones. And real fly fishermen always make their own. It's really simple, Sophie. We simply wind the thread forward until it grabs, and then we add the body, which is a little piece of chenille. Quite often these are made from natural materials like feathers and furs. Jeff's a pro, but most people take about an hour and a half to learn how to tie a fly. As for casting, well, let's take it one throw at a time. So we want the energy to go in a big wave right down the fly line, turn the leader over, then you let go with your left. Here we go. Nice work. Feel it work. I'd like to shake hands with you. <laughs> fly fishing takes practice and lots of it. We could stay here all day, but I'm itching to hit the river. OK, I've got my full commando kit on here. I've got my waders on to waterproof me. I've got my fisherman's vest to keep all my trout flies inside. And i also got these sunnies here, which is great for seeing the fish underneath the water. And more importantly, it guards against any stray hooks getting into your eyes. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think I did that one very well. Like I've got my glasses on. <laughs> OK, so casting in the river's a bit tougher. OK, good Not work. too bad. It's working. It's working. Good. Just raise it over your... But I've hooked a couple of things, myself included. <laughs> <laughs> We've caught oh, something. Oh, she's a pro, I tell you. We've caught Watch something. Watch out. <laughs> Just... Oh, yeah, some joke. Well, we fly fisher women are patient. So I've spent a few hours and tried a few spots. Do I do? What do I do? Point it back over your shoulder. Up higher? Oh, look at this. That's good. Keep him coming. So I just keep bringing him in? Yes. OK, draw him over OK, OK. Yes. Oh, no. We've got him. He's quite big, isn't he? How big oh, would he be? That's a good fish. He'd be almost a kilo, that fish. This is my first ah! fish. I've finally worked out what all the fuss is about. Check this one out, boys. Pretty impressive, I think. Look at him. Do you have to put him back now? Yes, we have to put him back because we like to conserve the resource. Oh. So we'll just take the hook out. There we go. Now you can lower him Look in the here. water. Look at him. We'll do a Put him back in. Here's one for the girls. Take that, Mr Daddo. That is just an awesome feeling. If you get hooked on this stuff, then you can even stay at the Fly Fishing Centre for a few nights. There's one cabin on site, sleeps five, fully equipped kitchen, plus an outdoor barbie. Perfect for that boys or girls fishing weekend away. My half-day guided fly fishing lesson at the Goulburn Valley Fly Fishing Centre cost $180, including all equipment and a guide. And the real beauty here is there's no fishing season. You can cast a line all year round. If you want to stay a night in their cabin, prices start from $85 per person per night. Now it seems a certain male hasn't taken too kindly to me catching a fish. So next week, Mr Daddo hits back and in a big way. This one is for Madame Faulkner. Never bag me on a story again, so I'm always watching.